Hello everyone, I just tried to record this game just now and then my uh, I encountered a very good game glitch. Yes, consoles are never glitchy, just remember this. But, um... The game caused my gamepad to stop working. No, my gamepad did not break. My PS2 did not break. The game caused my gamepad to stop working. I was thinking that my gamepad was broken, and I was like, hmm, I can't do anything. I was stuck in the middle of the level, unable to move. The Kuroya seemed unstoppable. But no. With Kichigoro gone, the Benia's numbers dwindled. It was the game. But something must be done, or soon the Benia would be no more. I don't care, really. Calling for help injures pride. Yep. But there is more at stake. Nope. Rin is entrusted with a letter to be delivered to Zenosuke. From Tenchu 3. With the help of Rin... The Benia would survive, but now the girl is plagued by doubt. In her present frame of mind, all that awaits is a useless death. Ah, oh dear. All they need is time. Time. Perhaps then their luck would change and the nightmare would end. Whatever. You know what? No mm. death is useless because the worms get fed. Seriously, people. Think of the worms. What will you do to the worms if you take away their food? Yeah, let's try it like this. Oh, but shit. Bring the note to Zenosuke, do not fall off the cliff, and a true ninja may find other paths. And a true derp may not. That's me. But yeah. I completely fucked up because my gamepad stopped working the moment I restarted my PS2. Just pushed the reset button. Started working again, so yeah. Now then, two guys. Okay, so that was both of them taken care of. See, the last time I just my gamepad froze. I was tapping all the buttons, unplugged it, replugged it, did everything. And there was nothing. I was like, "What the shit?" And then it, it was the game. I mean, I don't get it. The game refused to see my gamepad. I don't know if that's happened to anyone else before. If it has then, you know, share that with me because that was just annoying in my opinion. In my opinion. Probably annoying in everyone's opinion. Let's see, so there's a way up up there. Concerned about this. Don't know where, Don't know if anyone's around, you see. Alright, so there's no one down there. There is a guy right there, though. So we're gonna crawl across... Oh yeah, I changed the color format, the color output, on my PS2. Sort of accidentally. Um, so I wonder if that's gonna affect the video quality or anything. If it does, I hope it doesn't affect it inversely, if you know what I mean. Something that I say a lot, that, if you know what I mean. I'm speaking plain English if you know what I mean. It's very hard to navigate this place effectively. Now this guy comes towards me... So I'll go further down. That sound effect's weird. You know, that part of the mu this music is so different. Now, is there anything down there? Not at all.
Good thing he didn't move. Shit, I do not like this part. You can jump to here from there, but... Crap. If only PS2 had save states. Sometimes you can really screw up there, I'm not joking. I do indeed remember this level from long ago. He had anti-venom. Guess he didn't have time to drink it. Someone should have told him it was beer. Hey, I want to get rid of this thing. Now then, so there's two people over there talking. And there's that guy up there. Oh shit, he's coming this way now. Must have been nothing. Yeah, I'm very worried about this level in general. You want to escape? Shit. I have no choice here. I had absolutely no choice but to do that. Because he poisoned me. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't think he would come and see me. Go away. This extra kill is really going to screw my rating up. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. You see, I don't mind it, but then shit like that happens and... Oh, for crap's sake. See, he wasn't even supposed to come round. This again. Oh. Yeah, this was one of my uh, least favorite missions when first going through this game. It shouldn't be too difficult for you to figure out why it was one of my least favorite. But let me just say that what's over there is one of the reasons. Do you see how unfair that is? Just look. That is the only way to there. Oh, there's a guy right there. Tell me. Fair? Is it? Do you think so? I don't. Then again, I haven't tried this. I haven't tried practically suiciding. Damn it. If only this thing was longer, I could get there. Crap. So I pretty much have to take the suicide path. Now, if you go on the side that he is closest to him, consider yourself a, a goner, basically. Uh. Yeah, that did not look like it would kill me. I thought I would land on the ledge. I was obviously wrong there. Oh, I hate the friggin' layout of these levels. They're designed to be unfair. 
select up to six types of items. Crap. You know, this isn't as useful as this. We'll go for it. We'll go forward. Urgh. Bring the note to Zanosuke. Do not fall off the cliff. I did. And a true ninja may find other paths. Yeah, like... A true ninja may learn to walk on the water. Or not. Get ourselves ready. Look at that. Aliasing on the textures over there. That was very, very crappy. It could have get me got me killed. Could have get me killed, yeah. I just love the crappiness of the PS2, like... I mean, look at the textures on the ground flickering. They get really overly sharpened and everything, it's just... At the time when it was released, it looked good, but now, you know, you see it and... It just looks god-awful when you see it. Especially because now we're all used to graphics that don't have that. At least now that I know where everyone is, I'm just able to move through it a bit faster than before. Where is this guy? Oh. Found you! Rin, you jumping makes a lot of noise, you know. At least I took care of that. He'll notice soon. Eventually. Never. Dude, it's right there in plain view. You are supposed to be an archer of some kind or whatever. You should have noticed. Actually, it would have made my job a little easier if you had. Would have made it longer, but the job, not my penis. You know what I mean. Yes, it's safe to drop down there. I've got to get across this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this right. He's asleep, isn't he? I'm very worried now. Looks asleep to me. Now it's that guy up there I'm keeping my eye on. Now, is he coming down here, or is he just going to stay up there? Go for him first. That's the best order to do it in, I guess. Well, this time round, it went much better. 
Now, is there another so-called path around here to get to this point? I'm just checking. I'm not seeing one at all. Yeah, this is the only way here. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get up there. At least I don't think you would be able to. Let's see how... How long does he stay turned around for? I'm not going now because I've just started to analyze him. He stays turned around for about seven or eight seconds if he doesn't talk, maybe. I don't know. Someone else is walking, though. Take him away. Now then. Yeah, I want to be careful with this. I want to approach from this direction. I think that thing is lost. I'm not even going to bother going for it. Nom, nom, nom. Don't need it. Well, then again, I might have needed it more than this. Now, ah, what am I doing? I don't care. But yeah, Zenosuke is the guy from Wrath of Heaven, if you have forgotten. Um, you remember? The guy giving you missions for the third character, Teshu? <clears throat> Sorry. I've got a mm, giant toad in my throat. Yeah. Come on. Thank you for your troubles. She gave him a blue job. He's all happy about that. This is not good. If this letter is truthful, then Ogin's life is in danger. Wait. Very sloppy. If you wish to sneak up on someone, it works best when you don't breathe so heavily. Yes, good ears. Not bad. Poor old man. A little creepy, though. So you two fail. And Rin fails more. She didn't even know they were there. Futaba! Futabaka! Just stay out of my way. Why is it always you? Do not forget our mission. Don't forget our mission, I have a message from Juzo. Kill this man and you can join us. No harm will come to you. Never! Wait a minute. I believe the words of a murderer? Yeah. Murderer? What? You think it makes you better because you're paid to kill people? I don't care. I do what I have to. But you took everything from me. Everything I ever cared about. And you think you're not I doing that? I'll never forgive you! Insolent brat. Very well. Then you die. But wait a minute. You were surprised to see her there. But Juzo gave you a message to relate to her. That doesn't make sense. You expected her to be there, but then again, you didn't expect her.
I'm gonna deal with Futaba first, I guess. You see, one of them will get stronger if the other one dies, but Futaba is the one who's most annoying. Ow! So there you go, you see, he gets enraged that I killed Futaba. Try that again, dude. You're actually reminding me of the Tenchu through the portal thing. Oh, you gotta look up her vagina. Shit! Ah, he throws a bomb when you block. Ren, you're moving the wrong way. See, I'm just faking him by blocking. Okay. Come on, dude, bring it. Almost. Gotcha. Ha, <laughs> kick. Kick. All right. I win. By default. Because I'm awesome. Because I have short hair and I'm sexy. Yeah. That sword did not go in right. Why? Oh, my ears. What's so special about you? What, you're just gonna let her shoot you again? You can't even hit her, you suck. Juzo! Well, that's definitely not gonna hit her. You fired in the wrong direction, you idiot. It would have been funny if it went into her eye or something. Splat. Rin, was it? No. Yes. You should return home. Ugin may need your help. We will find you shortly. Oh dear. I leave them in your hands. <laughs> His testicles. <laughs> I leave them in your hands. Drain them well. Bye bye, Futabaka. Lady Razor keeps good company. Impressive. Wrong. Surely I am the luckier with you here. <laughs> Shall we go? Teshu, why are you wearing a diaper, you know? Fu ta ba ka. Fu ta ba. What are you doing? Hey, he set water on fire. Hacks. He 
tried to set her on fire. Okay. Her hair is moving. I'm positive he was dead. Nope. Perhaps his love for his sister made him immortal. Such passion. All right, let's go. It's creeping me out. Yep. You know what? Your change of voice is weird. You did not sound that way in Wrath of Heaven. Well, I managed it. Assassin rank. I'm really happy about that. Fake rat. <laughs> yeah, it's an explosive. It's fun, actually. Well, it's about that time now, actually, isn't it? I'll let you see what Hawkeye is. You know what it is already. Hayame has it. They'll probably get the exact same Hawkeye. And let me know what to do. Ninja to see further than the naked eye. Legend says that the ninja had eyes as acute as a hawk's. Whether this was due to training or use of tools is not known. But perhaps it was a special skill like this that gave them this power. Makes no sense at all. But oh well. Okay, to that time. See you the next time, guys. Where I will be playing more Tenchu. Bye, B. Ranzo's blade clashes with Ayami's double swords at the Playhouse at Hitu Beach. Next on Tenchu Fatal Shadows, a dance of swords. Evil will perish in a flash of crimson.